Hello, Noah here, and welcome to part 38 of my Contempt of Court Let's Play. I'm not sure if this will be the final episode, maybe it'll be the second to final episode, I'm not sure yet, but it looks like we're in the end game now, so I'm assuming we'll be done after this, but uh, we'll just have to see, so let's just go, let's just get on with it, I guess. Ooh, new theme. Ooh. But yeah, I like that. It's good music. I guess I should start from the beginning, yeah? Maplethorpe's murder. Volpor killed Cedric. You can't deny his traces alone were found on the wire. Motive? The pair of them were Aculus guys. He must have pushed Volpor's button, buttons over something. I took Volpor for interrogation, but Doc said he had to get something first. Then he comes back ten minutes later into the interrogation with a knife of all things. Volpor started freaking out when Doc came in. Then the blackout happened. Volper took the opportunity and struck out into the dark, killing Dox. I had no idea Dox was Jimmy's very own Clive Warren. I had no reason to kill him. I have no interest in killing. All I ever wanted was the Enigmium. Pick apart my argument all you want, but nothing conclusively points the finger at me. I, I see. Why, yes, Aji, you do see. You see how everything really played out. That is to say, exactly the same as before. Hmm. What? You got something to say, Edgy? Forgive my mild skepticism, but how does your argument direct... But how does your argument direct blame to the... <sighs> but how does your argument direct blame to the defendant? That wasn't the point of my argument for your information. We agreed that I'd make a statement denouncing my direct involvement. Hmm, I don't remember agreeing to... Can it dandy, boy? We all agreed! Smithy's guilt will speak for itself when you all realize I'm telling the truth. Then what's going to happen to poor little Nikki over there? Taking a wrong turn into an unwinnable situation. Boy, you're really in a pickle now, ain't you, buckaroo? Is your argument really so watertight, Hemlock? Or have you just deluded yourself into believing that? Because, for your information, no matter how much preparation you put into your deceptions, no matter how many disguises you don or how many people you control, justice will always prevail. Do you want my statement again, or do you want a trophy for ha hammiest acting performance? Now watch, everybody. Watch your favorite plucky underdog slowly realize what he's up against. And remember, champ, I allow a very small margin of error. Whether or not I can break his argument is one thing. But what really worries me is if I do break it. Even if I win, is he just going to blow us all up anyway? Either way, this is an argument to the death. And I intend to win it no matter what happens. <sighs> Rebuttal? What? Okay. We've overkilled Cedric. You can't deny his traces alone were found on the line. I guess I'll just press everything. How do we know you didn't fabricate those prints too? Because I don't have Volper's prints, do I, Slick? Smithy's prints match mine, that's for damn sure. Okay, then what would Vol Volper's motive have been? Why would he bother killing Maplethorpe? And while he's already in prison? Something is too vague. Cast your mind back to all the King of Heart, King of Hearts playing cards on Volpor's wall. You saw for yourself how obsessed he was over that enigmium. That was a hot button issue for our little red devil. Cedric must have been all like, "It will never again fall into your possession, you vile little creature." I even mimicked to Maplethorpe's body language and everything. Understandable as to why Volpor blew a gasket, huh? So me and Docs, we stumble upon the body and awaken the Kraken. If the scene looked kind of obvious, why the interrogation? Volper had a lot to answer for, champ. Not just Cedric, mind you, but everything else leading up to that point. And now this was conducted earlier? You can move on now, Nikki. Okay, alright. Why would Doc show an interest in that knife? We were about to interrogate Volper after all. We needed some answers as to why that knife was in the case locker. So I start grilling Volper, grilling some Hellspawn burgers, when Doc comes, Doc's comes back in. What would Volper have had against Warren? There's two ways you can go about it. One, he's a psycho. And two, 
He found out that Officer Dox wasn't who, was, wasn't who he said he was. Okay, to reword my question, what would Volper have had against an undercover agent? Hey, Jimmy! Come back down here and answer me a question. Ladies and gentlemen, it's James Trent in the hot seat. So what was your guy Warren doing playing dress-up in a police station, Jimothy? I uh, ordered him to. I sent him to investigate into a vernacular operative when in, within the force. Ding, 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 you got it, Nikki. But you were the operative he was after, not Volper. Volper's in with the crew too, you moron. Warren revealed his intentions in the... Hey, Jimmy, you can get lost now. Warren revealed his intentions in the interrogation to spook Volper into talking. I should bloody well know, mate. I was there. Warren was alone in a room with two Aculus operatives. Which one did the killing? I know the answer to that, but how can I substantiate? I can see what you're thinking, so let's move on. Struck out? In what way? You dense? Do I gotta explain myself over and over to you? No! You're the ones who need to understand me! Jeez, not one with a high frustration tolerance, are you? Th this guy is just me. Just me with Outer Wilds. Just getting frustrated every every goddamn second. I, I simply asked that you elaborate on what you meant by struck out. Oh, I'm sorry. Am I being vague? You should have just said so, champ. It's a fair question. Describe what you meant by struck out. Being vague, am I? Need to reword my statement, do I? Well, correct! That's exactly what I was gonna do. I was just about to if you kept your, fountain, your fat mouth shut. Well, this particular statement's really pushed some kind of nerve. Maybe if he rewords it, I can piece together why he's so rattled. Those ain't my Prince Buster. Struck out into the dark killing docks. Those ain't my Prince. Knowing you, there's no telling. Don't shoot the bystander, Nikki. I was there too, you know. And look at this face. Is this a face that would lie to you? There's not enough space in the universe to write the word yes enough times. Think, Phoenix. How can I prove Hemlock was the one who used that knife? How can I prove that he used that knife? Maybe this? Or, it could be the powder, because maybe the powder gets rid of fingerprints. But I'll keep going. You're seriously feigning ignorance at Doc's true identity? Yeah, huh? Gotta give the guy a hand, his disguise fooled old Lyle. He was coincidentally the only other officer around. He was after the Aculus member in prison is a via v jimmy he was waiting for this interrogation to happen as much as i was slick and volper knew who he really was so that's why he killed him well you have it congratulations why thank you kindly nikki and i'll take all the credit this kind of success is what ambition is all about kiddos this is what lyle hemlock is all about baby how did i get myself into this situation how can I prove him guilty of three murders in one go? Why do I even start with this? Don't give up so easily. I know you can do this. You have a knack for roaming out of impossible predicaments after all. Just keep calm, listen carefully, and analyze the evidence before you. There's no penalty on pressing, so obtain as much information as you can. There should be a statement somewhere that doesn't gel. I have the utmost belief in you, right? Tear jerking. Back to you, champ. No pressure. No room full of civilians depending on you to save their lives pressure. Yeah, keep talking away there, Hemlock. We'll see who gets to be smug when I find the flaw in your argument. Did I press the one about the fingerprints? I can't remember if I did. Knowing you, there's no telling. Oh, yeah, I did. How can I prove that he used the knife? Um. Bag me? Ah, it's 
sorry. My voice just left me there. Nope. Oh, shit. Wrong thing. Um, maybe the bottle? The bottle? How can I prove he used the knife? I can't use prints. There's also this part, which uh, the boogeyman list. Where is that? Yeah, this. Uh, yeah, no. Okay. No reason to kill him. Maybe I use the order card here? No. Let me slow down. Let me get back to the statement I want to be on. There's also this thing, which I don't get. I really wish I could get a hint instead of having to look up the answer, because that takes the fun out of it. But I'm I'm just lost again. I'm lost in the sauce. That doesn't say anything. No. Not the knife. Not this. Device? No. Okay. I've tried so many things. I'm lost. I'm gonna look at the guide. Okay, so... Um, the, the answer is the knife, but he's right. He's correct. With the ladder faded, but defined. So I, I, I mean, I guess, but it, this doesn't make sense because he's right. This doesn't contradict. Well, let's see where it goes with this. You, ins you argue insistently that Volper picked up the knife and stabbed Warren with it. Which does appear to have been the case if you take into account Volper's fingerprints. Thank you! Now he finally gets it! If you wanted to be clearer, you'd have mentioned Volper's prints from the original statement. So why not just say Volper prints proved to use the knife? What? Is, is that really what it's focusing on? Hmm. Because you hoped I'd forget, didn't you? By dancing around the subject, you tried to di divert attention from the prints. What's wrong with the prints, Mr. Wright? They are present on the knife's handle, yes? Then clearly... Oh, Volper used it all right. Almost a month ago. His imprint on the knife wasn't made from murdering Warren, but from murdering Titus Crump back in VD-8. Okay, that makes sense, but I... Oh my god, why am I so stupid? No, 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 that's wrong. Stop being wrong, Mr. Wrong. Forensic, analysi forensic analysis confirmed this yesterday, Your Honor. The presence of Volpa's prints are significantly faded, but defined. But what suggests that it was used to murder Tizi Scrump? Take another look at the blade, Your Honor. At first glance, it is covered in Warren's blood all the way up to the handle. But advanced forensic analysis has discovered a trace of another blood type beneath. That of a complete black sheep who had nothing to do with this case. Because he was killed with this very knife by Vex Volper in the past. Th that can't be right. The very same knife that was used to... Was this knife even presented during that trial? No, Your Honor, it wasn't. As far as we knew, this knife didn't even didn't even exist. The murder of Titus Crump was a cover-up altogether, and this proves it. Okay, I used the answer. This might be the fucking answer. I, I need to stop feeling stupid. 
This is one of Aculus's order cards, Your Honor. It's how Hemlock securely passes on directives to his underlings. In reading this, it, all be it becomes obvious that this particular card was addressed to... Ch Chief Shaden Foida! I had a very interesting meeting with the Chief yesterday, and he confessed to having covered up the true weapon used against Crump. And not just the knife, mind you, but the body and death of Crump himself. D that sounds like a lot of trouble to do, though. Why was such a prominent murder re redacted from VD-8? From what Wright tells me, no autopsy or coroner's report exists of Titus Crump. His murder was pretty much swept under the rug. Correct, Edgeworth. And as we all heard from the horse's mouth yesterday, the chief has been under the influence of Hemlock for a rather long time. So when he ordered for the cover-up of this knife, he was merely the figurehead for Hemlock's machinations. And he had to bow to his will due to his threats from Aculus. Your Honor, may I retract what I just said from the record? Because now, I, because now that I think about it, I'm talking a load of bull. Looky here, me. Why would Hemlock bother going, going, to so, going to so much trouble when it was Volper's fault? Look, what's your point? I only cover for my agents to an extent, bub. Until they do something reckless and drop my neck in it, that is. Volper, he was on his own. That wasn't your intent. Volper wasn't your priority at the time. During VD-8, your priority was to... Preserve the knife for later. You wanted to preserve the knife Volper used to kill Crump, namely the fingerprints that Volper left on it. You aimed to keep it a secret to aid in your plan to later frame Volper for Warren's murder. But that was why the murder of Crump was classified. If details had been shared, it would have, been, it would have thrown a wrench into the whole plan. During that case, I was always asking for a copy of Crump's autopsy report to bring to court. And I was always denied. Now I know the reason. With Volper's prints on the handle and Crump's blood wiped off of the blade, Hemlock would go on to later use it against him. And judging on who was in that interview room, who would be the obvious suspect? The lazy, slacking detective or the certified serial killer? Objection. Ain't you forgetting a little something-something? I'll answer for you, because you clearly are. Warren stole the knife in the first place, moron. If I'd meant to use it, I'd have gone and taken it. Which is why you asked Warren to retrieve it. But I didn't know who Dox really was. It was Volper who later rumbled his cover. As somebody always keen to keep an eye and ear to the ground, do you think I believe that? You knew beforehand who Dox really was, and you needed to get rid of him. Stop preaching what you can't prove, Nikki. Come on then, big man. Show us all how I knew Doc's true identity. Pokemon victims, please? Yeah. You asked for it, Hemlock, and I will provide. But first, a little backstory in involving James Trent. He and his wife Sarah were quite the dynamic duo back in their Interpol days. Then on one case concerning a certain smuggling ring, Warren's help was, el was enlisted. He was trusted by Trent to infiltrate the higher ranks of the smuggling ring. If I wanted a bedtime story, Nikki, I'd ask for one. How in the hell does this snooze fest answer my question? Maybe a change of narrator is what you need, huh? T Trent? So it's like he was saying, I stupidly requested Warren going undercover. He was so well camouflaged with the high rollers and the criminal scum atop the ladder that he became the first victim of a certain serial killer. Exactly right. Clive Warren became the first of the Boogeyman's eight confirmed victims. And need I remind the court who holds the likeliest to be the Boogeyman nomination? It's Lyle Hemlock, of course. Oh, dude, everybody's here. This is fucking Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. Everybody is here. The Boogeyman thought he killed Warren, but that guy was made of sterner stuff. He survived a garroting. A, a stalwart man indeed. Warren was seeing the red mist. I tried to make him see sense. You nearly died for Pete's sake. Let him be and let's get back to the smuggling ring. Then as soon as I found a fresh lead at the Maplethorpe Hotel, I granted his request. I sent him to the precinct. I sent him after you. Hemlock, you saw his face. You recognized him. And when you did, you knew he was coming for you. That's why you did him in and finished the job. <sighs> I think we can fill in the blanks from here. Hemlock used the interrogation of Volpa as a ruse to lure them both into the same room. An interrogation brought about from the murder of Cedric Maplethorpe, which heavily implies Hemlock's doing as well. 
Hemlock, Hemlock, it was you who coerced the chief into giving Mablethorpe and Volper adjoining cells, as Snow would have free access to the building and the cell keys. You entered Mablethorpe's cell one quiet night and strangled him in his sleep. Then you leaned his body against the bars to imply Volper had, the, had a good reach. And as for the sleeping Volper, you placed the wire in his hands to cover in his, in his traces. Not only a terrible revenge to the bumbling Aculus agent, which gives a solid motive, but the perfect excuse to drag Volper into a private room with Warren in tow. The perfect way to kill three birds with one stone and get away with it all. No, 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 no! Yeah, should I take that as confession? If that reaction doesn't scream guilty, I don't know what does, Your Honor. Have, have I done it? Well, one of the murders solved at least. Nah. Nah, this case is going to go on for another seven hours. Did Maplethorpe's murder hold a double motive? Revenge for his incompetence as an Aculus agent? And an elaborate ruse to set up the Warren murder? This guy... This guy is thinking in like 7D chess right now. If that's true, and Hemlock's knee-jerk reaction was authentic... No, 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 just, just, just breathe, you got this. It's not real. It's not real. Just move on to plan Y. Nobody has to die. Looks like you've been busy, my man. Maybe these harebrained theories might be good for something. I'm surprised you weren't tuned into the investigation channel yesterday. Then again, Foida did whisper his confession to me. Did he know for certain how Hemlock's spying operations functioned? One thing I don't understand. Volper was already serving a life sentence for multiple murders. Why frame him for more? Because he's a piece of scum who deserves to die. You think he's a skid mark on society enough as it is? You have no idea how much he screwed up my own plans. He was meant to have stayed in prison for life after what he did to his brother. The smuggling ring brother who, who put Vexy in touch with some very colorful criminal contacts. Including red goddamn white. So get this. Mr. White plays young Vexia visit in prison. Get me out of here, Mr. White. I have my sources. I can pay you handsomely for the trouble. A piece of refined enigmium. A whole pound of it. Worth billions. If you can pull some strings and organize my release, I'll find it and split it anyway. Five years I've been searching for this goddamn thing. After no leads in five years, suddenly there's an incident at Verglass Bridge. Hearing that Vincenzo's signatures was involved, old Robbie just had to get himself on the investigation. Special permission from the chief saw to that. And then Volper happened. My god, did Volper happen. The first lead I get in years in that red toilet brushes out of prison back on his trail. That's why he deserved the death penalty! That sounded very much like a confession to me, Mr. Hemlock. Yes, from your story, it seems you take responsibility for Maplethorpe's murder. Well, no, I wouldn't exactly call it murder, murder. I'm not a killer, remember? Are you kidding me? You seriously think you're still innocent? You're the boogeyman killer and you've admitted to murdering one man to, one man to frame another. Ah, uh, 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 but this is where your big theory falls apart, bud. If you're gonna name me for one murder, name me for all of them. And I know for a fact you can't pin me for Warren and Brisbane. That mark's a living paradox. How can his mind contradict itself so much? Any evidence I present, they they just get re they just get rejected by his belief system. He must be locked in a state of cognitive dissonance. What makes you so sure I can't prove your guilt for the other two murders? Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Looks like we have to whip out the rules of physics, folks. You see, kiddos, when a knife is forcibly forcefully inserted into the chest of a living being, a copious amount of blood tends to spurt forward, doesn't it? D yeah, well done, teacher. Right? And what's the issue? Warren did leave a pool of blood on the table. Didn't have any on my hand, though, did I, smart guy? Don't believe me? Ask Maggie. Maggie Bird, the officer who arrested him at the scene. She reported nothing of the sir. Oh, oh, that's what he did. That's what he did. He stabbed, he stabbed Warren through the bag. Now that is clever. That's clever. So no blood, no stabby stabby. Simple. Ah, he's got me there. It's not out of the question that you may have used something to cover your arm with. Objection. Oh yeah, that a fact? You bring out the something and show us then. He got cocky fast. Is he confident we don't have what he's asking for? Come on, come on. Something to wrap his hand in. Something to wrap his... 
That thing, of course. You seem rather comfortable for somebody in your position. That'll be the judge's chair. Look comfy for a chair if you, you can't even see, trust me. Yeah, yeah, just keep talking, Chuckles. You seem almost confident that such evidence doesn't exist. Would you care if I disagreed? You have nothing. Get ready to eat those words along with a reality sandwich. Your hand avoided the blood because of this. I'm honestly worried about this one. Not just because of where it was found, but the fact that Rinwick knew about it. But this is the only way forward, so here goes nothing. Hemlock. One particular item here, here points towards use as a blood guard for your hand. Does this look familiar at all? Oh yeah. Oh yeah, you're you're so fucked now. How did I'll be happy to take that as a yes. And very and a very obvious one at that. Uh, uh, that wasn't I thought that that was Where did you get that? I think the question here is where did you get it? As you can clearly read VD8 at the, on the label at the top, it's safe to say that this was the bag containing the knife. So when Warren brought it in said knife, he also unknowingly provided you with a blood cover. Did you use this bag when you stabbed Warren? B b no, 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 no. This isn't... You presented impossible evidence? Th that bag isn't supposed to exist. Impossible evidence? Does this bag not have a place in Hemlock Land? Has he legitimately forced himself to forget about it? Well, if you refuse to admit, I guess we have to run some tests on the blood. Because if this is indeed the dried blood of Clive Warren... No. No, this is all fake. They're all naysayers. Keep standing up for what you believe in, and everything will work out in the end. Just stay positive. Stay happy. <laughs> I'm the one in control of my destiny, not you naysayers. Holy moly, he's gone full on control freak. Nothing leaves this courthouse. If that bag so much as crosses that threshold, I'll destroy you all! Oh, that's right, the explosives. This won't work. How else can I substantiate this new item? I have to think of some way to tie this without hemlock, blood or no blood. Wait, that's it. I don't need to leave the room to prove it, hemlock. A clear plastic bag like this would be an ideal surface to find fingerprints on the inside. But, but can you clearly identify any prints, Mr. Wright? Since I can't leave the room for analysis, I have to imp improvise with the naked eye. Now let's have a good hard look at this bag. Aha, I found one. Now all I have to do is match it with... It's not a match. It, it doesn't correspond to any of these on record. Something the matter, champ. Why does this print not match any on record? Like you need an answer, because I didn't do it, moron. You can see Robbie's print there in black and gray. Does it look at all like the one in the bag? Didn't think so, did I? Hemlock, you snake. You changed your prints again, didn't you? Hold up. What if he didn't? What if the print inside the bag is the original? Maybe a week ago he hadn't per perfected the art of print mimicry yet. Hence the VD8 cover-up. I know that look. You've had some sort of epiphany, haven't you? I have a theory, if your honor will listen. I believe this is Hemlock's original print. Objection. Is not. Me and Smithy have the same prints he worships me so damn much. They can't be told apart, can they? Objection. While it may have been true that you artificially copied Renwick's prints, it was a very recently learned skill, wasn't it? Prior to the Brisbane incident, you had a very different set of prints. Your own. Nope, 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 nobody nope. Stop lying, naysayer. Because I was thinking, why the VD8 cover-up? Why shade a whole other murder just to obtain a knife with Vulpris prints on it? You hadn't yet acquired your skill of print manipulation. And when you did, it became a whole new way of streamlining your process. Objection. And where does a copy of my original print exist if not the report, naysayer? Nowhere! Unbeknownst to you, I have just the thing. Oh, lies, lies, all of it, lies. We can lift your original prints from this item. Uh -huh. 
<laughs> the bug. Do you remember yesterday in my office when you threw your mug onto the floor? Then as you left, you collected all the fragments back up? That's exactly what happened to the letter, wasn't it? I picked them all up and the mug was never brought up again. I'll have to disagree with you on that one. You see... You missed one. <laughs> huh? How does a piece of his coffee cup prove the... Ah, Mr. Wright! Yes, Your Honor. Remember, this is Detective Snow's favorite tea mug. If we find a print on the surface of this fragment to match the one in the bag... What do you know? It's a match! And even if I'm a bit off, a proper fingerprint analysis post-trial will prove it. P positive thinking, Lyle. Will this nest of rats shut the hell up? Like the rats you all are, I am your peered piper. Like puppets on a string, your lives are in my hands. He's really in a struggle with his state of mind now. I need to develop the theory and really weigh on the pressure. Then again, what's he going to do when he finally caves in? So while disguised as snow, Hemlock held the knife with the plastic bag in hand and was then able to hit his target in the dark? In the dark, huh? The blackout. Of all the power boxes for a bolt to hit, and all of all of, and of all of the moments for it to hit. Oh, that's what that's what happened. That's what happened. This little device. It it short circuited the power box. That's what it did. Right then and there, when Volper was a suspect, we were happy to shrug it off as a th authentic. But under these new circumstances, no way was it an accident. The blackout. It wasn't the coincidence we've all been led to believe. It was another carefully constructed piece of Hemlock's big puzzle. W why? Why must you insist on making up this this false truth? Are you too blind and stubborn to see the way that things are supposed to go? This is getting tiresome, Hemlock. Look, Nicky, buddy, champ, Malad. Happiness? Happiness is what we all strive for in this life, hmm? Everyone in here threatened by guns and exploding phones. This never needed to happen. So what's so hard about agreeing on a situation where we can all leave here happy, huh? We all go home with our lives and our worlds making sense again. The world will only make sense again after you've been put away for your crimes. And I aim to prove that the interrogation blackout was your doing. Hemlock holds so much control that you can manipulate lightning bolts to strike at will? No. Although I bet he considered it. Call me crazy, but I don't think the power box was damaged by lightning at all. Just smile. Smile all you want, you won't get away with what you've done. There has to be something here that proves the power box outage was controlled. Do you know what this, um, thing is, Hemlock? No. The most unconvincing no of all time. And neither do you from the sound of it. This ain't another one of your famous bluffs, is it? That's an answer I too would like to know, Mr. Wright. What is that? Somebody please back up my bluff. Unless I'm much mistaken, that's a device known as, igni as an igniter. I an igniter? From what I understand, it's a device programmed to emit a small flame when triggered. Oh. Well, that I didn't know. That would explain why it looks pretty burnt and busted up. If that object was placed in the power box before the interrogation, the damage caused by its flame would easily ha have been mistaken for lightning damage. I, I say, this proves that the blackout was indeed staged. I should say so, Your Honor. Hemlock needed to fake a power outage so Volper's testimony would be taken even less seriously. Why else would he carry out the interrogation at night? And unless I'm very much mistaken, which I'm not, by the way, Volper still blabbed all the same. So what use did the blackout do me, huh? That's a good point. Simply turning out the lights wouldn't have sufficed. Did Volper just sit in the dark twiddling his thumbs while Hemlock killed Warren? Hold on a moment. That scar below his eye. I thought that was from Vincenzo. I'm astonishingly sure that second that second scar was more recent. Yeah, because isn't this a scar? Uh, you guys can't see my mouse. But just below his left eye, isn't that like an old scar? And then the one on his forehead is the new one, I guess. Could it be that he genuinely had no idea what was happening? Witness, if you're so confident that you had nothing to do with the murder, why haven't you mentioned what happened during the blackout? D during the blackout? S so what? What is there to tell about that? Look, how would I know what happened in the blackout? Would you know what happened in the blackout? 
Volper was knocked unconscious while it was dark. For unrelated reasons, Volper has, has obtained a noticeable scar on his forehead. But I subconsciously noticed he now has a second scar below his left eye. Oh, wait. Oh. Okay. But the one on his forehead looked more recent because it was more red, but I, I guess. Ah. That's why he had no idea what was going on. And it would match up with Officer Bird's testimony from that trial. Luckily, he seemed to have just sat there the whole time. Strange, really? Do you deny that, Hemlock? Well, duh. He's oddly calm all of a sudden. You have some nerve, Mr. Hemlock. All this evidence against you, a criminal mastermind, and you continue to deny it? Just biding my time. A light bulb has just come on in his head. I really hate when he does this. Well, I for one believe you have found the true villain of the piece, Mr. Wright. You appear to have conclusively proven Mr. Hemlock responsible for three crimes all in one. As unlikely as it once seemed, we may have made a huge mistake concerning Volper. Agreed, Your Honor. While Volper should remain in prison to continue his life sentence, he has been proven innocent of crimes that elevated his sentence to the death penalty. Well, I guess this means that his death sentence is to be revoked. Seems you've forgotten who's judge, jury, and executioner around here, bub. And you got another question coming your way. He's setting me up for something, I know it. Uh, ask away. Whatever this fake truth is you've woven together, it's coming along rather nicely. But there's one more piece of the puzzle you're missing out on. The evidence that ties me to Brisbane's assault. What is he up to? Up and at him, slugger. Just this one last thing to prove, then you've won. After that freak show you've put on, you're not just going to let us confirm. Ah, 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 this is Nikki's moment in the spotlight, not yours. So come on, hotshot. What's this be- what's this be-all end-all evidence to prove my part in crime number three? Save. For the love of God, save. Mysterious bottle. Still not sure what it- what it's for. Prove him. What could prove? Wait, Wait no, 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 that's not it. What's this be all end all evidence? Did I did I save already? I'm gonna save again. I would say probably the mysterious bottle, if anything. Nope. Not the mysterious bottle. I guess we don't know what that is yet. Um. Garot wire. No. I'll try the garot wire here. Oh, Hemlock. We've already touched on how you like to recycle evidence for future plans. The VD-8 knife, namely, used Volper's prints against him for later for Warren's murder. And what do we have here? Yet more evidence of your evidence reuse. The Maplethorpe matter. Yes. If Hemlock reused the knife for the sole purpose of framing Volper in the future, he also used the prints on the garage wire to frame Detective Smith. Did I? Of course. You and the defendant share the same prints, so you copied his to frame him. Oh? Uh, oh? What was it you said earlier? If only I had some way to play it back to the court? Oh, wait, I do. Get a load of this. While it may have been true that you artificially copied Renwick's prints, it was a very recently learned skill, wasn't it? Prior to the Brisbane incident, you had a very different set of prints, your own. Nope, 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 nobody, nope. Stop lying, naysayer. Because I was thinking, why the VD-8 cover-up? Why shade a whole other murder just to obtain a knife with Volper's prints on it? You hadn't yet acquired your print, your skill of print manipulation. And when you did, it just became a new way of streamlining your whole processes. Your processes, holy shit. And with that in mind, I'd like to repeat, repeat my favorite part. You hadn't yet acquired your skill of print manipulation. Yeah. 
Yeah, indeed. I should have remembered what I said about those damn prints. He realized it too and tricked me into contradicting myself. You're up, champ. Explain to Udgy where you screwed up. Your Honor, if Detective Smith's prints are there on the wire, then that must mean... I've backed myself into a corner. And I can't get out of it unless I see that Renwick... His involvement... There's something about Smithy. Something about him that Nikki doesn't want to let out the bag. And yet now I'll have to. Hemlock you. M Mr. Wright, is this true? Is there something we should know about the defendant? What if I just say no? Fuck you, what if I just say no? N no, Your Honor, everything's... everything's fine. Wait, 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 how can this possibly benefit us? Is this what I've been reduced to? Perjury? No matter how bad the situation is for us, I can't just lie about it. No, wait, Your Honor. I have something else to say. Mr. Wright, is it true? Is it, uh, okay, I, I guess we have to say yes. Is there really no other way out of this? Do I have to rat Renwick out as Hemlock's assistant for the past five years? If I do, the murder charge may be dropped. But perjury, accessory to murder, perverting the course of justice... Ugh, I have no choice now but to open a whole can of worms. The nice man asked you a question, champ. Is there something life-ruiningly scandalous about Smithy or not? Renwick, I'm sorry. Your Honor, I have a confession to make. For the past five years, my client has been forced to keep a lid on his shameful secret. I only just managed to coax the information out of him yesterday. What kind of a secret? The secret... Right, well, this secret, um... Detective Smith has been... He was, I mean, he... I can't do it. Don't worry about it, Phoenix. I had a good run. We both did. Huh? R Renwick, w what are you doing? You did your best, Phoenix. You had absolute belief that I was totally innocent. I thank you for that, sincerely. But I knew I couldn't keep up this secret forever. And even if I got away with it, I couldn't live with myself. And believe you me, this would be a huge relief to get off my chest. Your Honor, I had a level of involvement with these crimes. After DT2, I was assigned to investigate the aftermath of the incident. Then I got tangled with him up there. I presume this concerned the enigmium that was present at the scene. Huh, what else? Didn't know what it was, though. Just thought I was doing a public service by returning the thing to its owner. Then Hemlock gets in touch and tells me he's after it. Threatened to frame me for the murder of Blaine Chill I stumbled upon earlier. Blaine Chill, one of the boogeyman's victims. What happened next, buddy, over the past five years? Hemlock scrubbed my records and we had ourselves a little road trip, didn't we? Define a road trip for us, if you wouldn't mind. You can all guess by now that Hemlock is the boogeyman. He killed his way to the top of the ranks by picking off all those above him. These top guys were all over the globe, hence the road trip. Hold it. Y you didn't. No, 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 I killed nobody. That was all him. Metaphorically. Hemlock, why are you now perfectly okay with being a call- with per Perfectly okay with being called- <sighs> Oh my god. Hemlock, why are you now perfectly okay with being called a killer, you weirdo? I still can't figure him out, but I know enough to know that means bad. The Legend of the Boogeyman was a joint effort. Aside from the grotting MO, the Boogeyman never left a trace. That was because of me. I was Hemlock's one-man cleaning crew. And not just in the past, but the present. Did Maplethorpe and Worm were in crime scenes where you're doing as well? After the Maplethorpe case, I removed all the evidence from the cells. During the Warren case, I was the one who planted and triggered the igniter to cause the blackout. You shorted the power? Once the good detective gave me the signal, yes. Getting back to the wire, that would explain why your prints were on it beforehand. After I removed the wire from the first scene, Hemlock asked me to hand it over instead. I always wondered what for, until the week later. From the very beginning, you knew who was responsible for framing you? You try speaking out against a crime boss, blackmailing you! He had the chief in his pocket. You think I would have stood a chance speaking out? We appreciate your honesty, Detective, even, Detective Smith, even if it is a little late. However, coerced or not, you realize that you may now be charged on a whole different on different grounds. Perjury, accessory to murder, and perverting the course of justice, for instance. Oh good, you read my mind, Edgeworth. I know, and I'm so sorry for the trouble I caused. In Phoenix, I understand that your hand was forced. Manip manipulating people is what he does best, after all. Now you've had a taste of what it's been like to have been me for five years. 
I'm sorry too, Grimwick, for following my blind trust and getting us into this mess. If there's any consolation, the murder charge will now likely be dropped. Now Hemlock has confirmed this himself. We know we know now you, we know you are now innocent of murder. Objection. We had some good times on the road, huh, Smithy? Who needs a cleanup crew when you've got a smuck like you around? But I wonder, there was always that glint in your eye when you saw the crime scenes. I could tell murder always tickled your fancy. But me being me, I wanted to get the job done my way. No offense, buddy. <laughs> Good, because I never wanted to kill for you. To kill for me, no. But to kill me... Now, Smithy's aired out the dirty laundry. You assume his hands are clean. But how's about we throw attempted murder into his little pick, pick and mix of charges? If I'm going down, you're coming with me, Smithy! What attempted murder charge? You're just grasping at straws. I knew, always knew you were a loose cannon, Smithy. And I knew you had it in you to try and free yourself the easy way. That's why you poisoned Snow's coffee! Y you can't be serious! I, I didn't have any atroquinine on me! That's why you planted the sacket to frame Vulper, clever cogs. Clogs. As the one who set up the crime scene after I left, who else? Detective Smith? What proof do you have to back that up with? Everyone's panties were so in a bunch about Volper doing the poisoning. No one ever thought to ask about the fingerprints on the sacket, did they? Want to try me, Nikki? Ask who handled the poison. Go on, ask me. What am I... I said ask me! Wh whose prints were they? Ah, like you needed to ask. If that sacket gets retested, you'll find Smithies, of course. W w wait, w wait just a minute. I thought the point of the atroquinine sacket was to blame Volper for the poisoning. So where does blaming Smithy come into it? Bloody hell, mate. Why else would I appoint Runwick as my stand-in? All I had to do for the case was scribble in his notepad and look important. Knowing full well that his alterations would fool everyone. And as a ventriloquist, you ordered for a suppression of investigation. Bingo, mate. Bing... Bin bloody go. No, 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 no. How the hell did he turn it around this time? The man's practically guilty and he still found a way to drag Runwick down with him. Now I have to disprove an attempted murder? He's not a killer. Now that I truly believe about Renwick. But Hemlock has always been one step ahead of us all. How can I plan against what has already been planned? What, what kind of lawyer am I if I can't, to prove in a, if I can't de defend a proven innocent man? How could I fail like this? Failure is always an option, but true failure is when you stop trying. I haven't failed yet. Not until I choose to fail. There's still something I can do. There must be. Snap out of it, Mr. Wrong. Renwick would never attempt to kill anyone, you hear? Not even his self-dissolved, soul-corrupting monsters like him. Ah, that's quite enough out of you now, champ. Thought this would be the day you finally got rid of me, Smithy. For the rest of your life, you'll be trapped in a place where you'll never escape from me. It's come down to this. Plan a why. End of the line. All we need from you now, Nikki, is your acceptance of the truth. What's the answer? What am I missing? Renwick poisoned Hemlock's mug? I just can't put my finger on why that would be... Impossible. Yesterday, Hemlock was drinking from that very same mug. If my mug was poisoned, I wouldn't dare risk drinking out of it again. Th that's it. There's no chance anybody would drink from a previously poisoned mug again. So what if there was no atroquinine to begin with? And and I think I have the thing just to prove it. Accept the truth? Give up on my client? Never. W what? As long as I have breath in my body, I will always stand against injustice. As long as... Cr oh, shit, you cut me off! I was... Uh, okay. And I'll tell you exactly why I refuse to give up the fight. Your coffee mug contained no atroquinine at all. Are you quite serious? The coffee cup from the interrogation that tested positive for atroquinine? That's what we were all led to believe. Of course, we never saw forensics actually carry out the test, so we naturally assumed. Remember that Detective Smith was Hemlock's carefully selected stand-in detective. The same person who set up both crime scenes on Hemlock's request. And therefore, the only person who pretended the poison testing was genuine. Hmm... It would certainly remove the murder charge hovering over the defendant's head. Provided you can back it up, that is. 
Take a look at this piece of Hemlock's mug. Notice the large blue stain covering what would have been a, would have, what would have been the inside. I'm no scientist, but I'm sure the reagent isn't supposed to stain the entire mug blue. I only have limited knowledge of antiquinine testing myself, but I do see a point. The reagent would only change the color of the poison traces, not the entire contents. Not to mention I saw Detective Snow drink from this very mug yesterday. Not something I'd do if my mug was tested positive for poison. Objection. Naysayer, 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 naysayer everywhere! You clearly don't understand science, naysayer. What's your oh-so-scientific reason for that, then? This blue stuff. It can't possibly... It can't possibly be atroquine. Is there something else to explain why Hemlock's coffee turned blue? Yeah! <laughs> I know for a fact that it's something you can't back up. You know for a fact, do you? Is it because you think that evidence no longer exists? Maybe you thought you had Runwick dispose of it for you? Well, it brings me great pleasure to, dis to disappoint you, Hemlock. Because I have the evidence to unravel your entire truth. This is it. The final piece of the puzzle. The final evidence I need to bring him back to reality. You're fond of your mock truth, Hemlock. So here's some mock evidence to go with it. No, 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 no. There's nothing there. You don't have it. Listen, smart guy. What about the Atiquinine second found at the scene? You ever read the label there, champ? Considering the evidence I do, in fact, have here in my hand, I wouldn't be surprised if that second was another red herring. With some testing, it would likely be clean as a whistle. You, on the other hand, you put something else in your coffee to imitate the appearance of Atiquinine. Could it be the powder from this little bottle? Wh what? Where did you? Yesterday, I discovered something of a deus ex machina. A treasure trove of forbidden evidence that, as we've proven, are the missing pieces. A treasure trove? Where did you find this, Mr. Wright? There was a hollow cavity hidden in the interrogation room table, Your Honor. It contained the igniter, the bloody bag, and last of all, the o this ominous bottle. After killing Warren, Hemlock must have stashed these items away to hide them from sight. Why did you- <sighs> Ignore that. It never happened. That was weird. It's as if he was about to yell at someone, but stopped himself. He's probably waiting for me to write this bottle off. Like I'm gonna do that. So what about that bottle? Never seen it before in my life. Besides, it's not like you can test it out here in court. This is a bit of a stretch, but would anybody in here happen to have a drink with them? <laughs> Please, anyone. Uh, I have a cup of water, Mr. Edgeworth. Uh, I requested one for my nerves, but couldn't bring myself to, to drink it. You may very well be the unsung hero of today's trial, Bailiff. The honor is yours, right? Okay, here goes. It's changing color, just as I suspected. And there you have it, Your Honor. Whatever this stuff is, it emulates the color of atroquinine atri rather well, and I'm willing to bet that it's harmless. Else, what's the point of fake poison? I always thought the coffee poisoning was an oddity. And now we all realize it was Hemlock's plan why. Exactly. The, po the coffee poisoning was an insurance policy should he ever be in this situation. It was planned long in advance in order to take Rick Renwick down with him. Oh, <sighs> so much talking. You had one job, Smithy. One stinking job. I put those things in the table, and you were supposed to destroy them after my arrest. And you told me you did. You lied to me. I... I don't... I... I... I I can't talk properly because I'm just a little, little mouse. Spit it out, you miserable little traitor! I, I, I don't take orders from you anymore. I'm not gonna bow and scrape like to a psycho like you any longer. I quit. Whoa, 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 whoa! Let me get this straight. You make my life a walk, a waking nightmare by keeping the enigma a secret, and you think you have a say in when I'm done with you? It's over, Hemlock. Your days as a control freak have come to an end. For the first time in your life, you can't control this outcome. No. No, 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 no. There's gotta be something I can... I, I mean, if I... Maybe I could... Ah! Mr. Hemlock, through a series of calculated events, you have attempted to, to divert several points of blame. From your crimes as a serial killer making his way to the head of a criminal organization. To your revenge plots against your own underlings. There is now no doubt in my mind that you are responsible for these events. 
Therefore, as the judge presiding over this court, I order you to come down from there at once. When did you have the gall to give me an order? Naysayer. Naysayers, all of them. Control is largely an illusion. As much as we all wish we had it, we just can't control everything. Some things in life we just can't do a thing about. And trying far too hard to control them in any way doesn't solve the problem. Hemlock. I get it. Life's hard. It's harder on some than others. Sometimes it flat out sucks. Nobody wants negativity, and it's tempting, even natural, to try and avoid it altogether. But that's not what life is about. You can pursue your dreams without trying to control everything. Life's a roller coaster of up and downs, and we're all in it for the long haul. We all make mistakes, and no matter how much you bury them, you made some too. No, no, I, I can't accept that. I am in control. I can't achieve my dreams. Look how I turned out, champ. The Enigmium, the organization, the... The countless crimes you tried to justify to maintain your personal happiness. And as a man who claims to never have made mistakes, you know which was your biggest? Luring me and Edgeworth onto this case. Ugh. This life I've created for myself. I can't let it go. Not after all I've achieved. Stupid, 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 stupid! Now what am I supposed to do? I can't go on knowing I screwed up this bad. I need to make a fresh start. Yeah, yeah, that's it. I'm afraid it's too late for that now. So you'll come quietly, turn yourself over? Turn myself over? What makes you think I'm giving up? Naysayers have always tried to bring me down. Not once have I fallen for their lies. That's the only way you're going to find true happiness. Trust no one! You're a, you're a naysayer. You're a naysayer! You're all thieving, lying naysayers! And there's no room in my world for naysayers. So screw it! You're all getting blown up anyway! Consider this Plan Z! W what you are going to activate Grapevine's de fail deadly and kill us all anyway? What will that accomplish? You've got what you want. Let these people go. I don't know if I can carry on through life after today. The knowledge that I screwed up this whole thing up, and now everyone's going to know about it? I, I can't let that happen. I can't have any of you knowing. This all never happened! And what about you? How do you plan to cope with this earth-shattering re revelation that you're not perfect? Becoming other people is my speciality, Nikki. It's how I managed to cope in a world of naysayers and negativity. I'll just wipe the slate, factory reset, hello world, I'm someone new. I'll just force myself to forget this ever happened. All over again. I knew he was planning to kill us anyway. No matter how this trial would play out, he always had Grapevine at the ready. What do I do now? Is this how it ends? So, Nikki, any last words before we start her all over again? Any last words? Nothing I could say right now will change Hemlock's mind. Maybe I need to address somebody else with my final words. Um. Maybe the gunmen? I'm not sure. Uh, yeah, I'll try the gunmen. What do your henchmen think of all this, Hemlock? Are they perfectly content to just sit back and watch this courtroom turn into a bloodbath? God, I mean, we don't really- Marco, shut your face! I speak for all my guys, Nikki, and they agree that this is for the best. I'm not asking you. I'm talking to your own task force, Aculus. You, Marco, is this what you want? Innocent bloodshed? Are you letting this man push you all around? Ha! Are you trying to start a revolution or something? Aculus is mine to control and to command. If they so much as tiptoe out of line, they're history! Right? Those were your last words. Edgy? No. Edgy? No. People? No. Good. Well, it's been nice knowing you all. Best of luck. Okay. What about Grapevine? Surely her henchmen have the file installed on their phones, too. Well, duh. How else did you think I know what they're all up to? But if every phone in this building is infected with Grapevine, aren't you going to blow your henchmen up, too? Hey, this guy's right. Yeah, what's the big idea, boss? You gonna get us killed too? What? What? Was that your plan the whole time to shut us up as well? Boss, you gotta be kidding me. What do we do to deserve this? You know, Hemlock, there's something you and the rest of Aculus should know. You may be the one in control, but Aculus is your control. These men with guns are the reason you had any control in here in the first place. Without Aculus, you're nothing! You guys... 
You know as much as everyone by this point. Boss, you're seriously gonna kill everyone including us? Yeah, we worked our bus off for you and this is the things we get? And what'll happen if I let you go, huh? You're gonna blab about this to the rest of Aculus, and that won't be happening. As far as I'm concerned, your witnesses too. Once Plan X has been activated, I can finally start over again. This trial never even happened. Hemlock, wait, let's talk this out. In, this, in these last few seconds, just keep in mind, you made me do this! Three. No good can come of this, I'm warning you. Two. I beg you to stop and think about this. One. Uh. Huh? Are. Are we still alive? Uh, huh? Why ain't it working? Seriously? Just like that, the failed deadly didn't work? Is it safe to come out? As little as protection as the witness bench can provide, you are safe, Your Honor. Well, what do you know? Mr. Do-It-All failed again. All that technology and you can't program a working bomb. J j just give it a second to warm up. Ha, <laughs> not so tough now, are you, big man? No, 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 wait. Wait, wait, wait. Give me a chance here. P plan Z. And a half. Um, uh, a roll. Rinrick, my friends. We're the best of buds, right? Us three? The terrible trio? The triumvirate of trouble? I, I mean, what have I ever done to you? Well, apart from this little makeover you gave you gave me, not much, I guess. <laughs> C come on, pal. That was just a bit of banter, yeah? R right? Uh, look, guys. It's all Robbie. I can become him for real if that's what you want. Uh, we can put this all behind us, get back to the way things used to be. Who's with me? Look at you now, boss. I know, I can't believe we were afraid of this guy. S stay back, you moron. Stay back or I'll... Oh, shit. Or you what? Or do you mean to fire a will? Considering the circumstances, do you really want us to do that right now? What the hell is this madness? They've finally seen sense, Hemlock. They've seen you as you really are. You care so much about what you want, you have absolutely zero value for human life. Such delusion has led you to believe that you are untouchable. So what happens when that very power turns against you? What will you do now? The cognitive dissonance must be killing you right now. I'll tell you what you're gonna do. The poor sap here has a choice to make. And we're sure you'll agree it's a no-brainer. And what choice would that be, um, gentlemen? All right, punk, you got two choices. I hear you're a fan of imposing those. You can either accept your guilty verdict for everything the lawyer proved today, or you can walk free, but we'll be waiting for you. Because after we tell the rest of Aculus that their boss tried to get his own guys killed, you can bet it'll be open season on your ass. Ugh! So what's it going to be, Lyle? A life sentence or a death sentence? My, my control... How can I control? What do? How? Why am I? My friends, help a guy out, huh? What should I do? What? What do you mean you're not my friends anymore? But, but you're under my control. I own you, losers. What? N no, no, don't say that. Sh shut up. I control you. No, stop talking to me. Sh shut up, all of you. No, 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 no. Listen to me. Stop talking. Stop talking. STOP TALKING! Why can't I get you people out of my head? Why won't you listen to me? I'm... I'm in control. I'm in... Get away from me. Stop tormenting me. Uh, get them all off me. Get them away from me. You're free. You're free. Just shut up already. Uh, who threw th Stop. Stop. Leave me alone. Get these things away from me. Stop. Stop. Ah!
Holy shit. Well, uh, that's going to destroy my throat. I should not have done that. <laughs> okay, we're back. Mr. Edgeworth, what is the situation with the audience? They are receiving emergency trauma treatment, Your Honor. My apologies, but I felt it was only right that they... Of course, of course, I understand. And what of... him? As you know, he still refused to admit his guilt. But still, he took the choice of being arrested. On charges of multiple murder, battery, grand theft, coercion, impersonating an officer... The list goes on from there. It seemed to me that he was unable to acknowledge his guilt, like he couldn't process it. Indeed. The police have lost, launched investigations into all your, cli your claims too, right? Any news on that front yet? The dark powder in the bottle that changed the color of Hemlock's coffee to blue. I called it right. Turned out to be a harmless food coloring. And then there is, of course, the matter of his other crimes from around the world. The Boogeyman trials are to be carried out in due course. He's going to be a busy man over the next year or so. And lastly, Mr. Edgeworth, any news from, Ver from Verizix? The police are scouring his cell phone now for more evidence. Not only has an abundance of illegal conversation recordings have been found, but there is also a, a focus on how his grapevine application was programmed. The data analysis would have a field day with deciphering grapevine's code. Did they manage to work out any of it out yet? No, the code is too complex to accurately examine in a window of 45 minutes. But they did uncover something rather interesting. What? A typo. Located on a line of code using the fail deadly algorithm. Wait, you mean to tell me that we were saved by a spelling error? As I say, they need more time to research the program. The possibility of a functional digital bomb is still up in the air. That, or we were just saved by the word... <laughs> oh, that's so good, man. Oh. Oh, saved by a typo, man. That is... <laughs> yeah. That'll save you. Those typos, like, no one can escape them. Even as Hemlock tries to be perfect, no one can escape the typos. I guess he wasn't so perfect after all, huh? The best people never are, right? Which promptly, which promptly leads us to our verdict for the defendant. Your Honor? Forgive me, Mr. Wright. I was lost in thought. Th this wouldn't concern the other charges, would it? Detective Smith, would you please take the stand? Detective, I understand that you were forced against your will. For five years, you covered the tracks of mur the murders and aided Hemlock when required. I know what you're trying to say, Your Honor. Yes, these actions will still require further investigation and trial. As I won't be presiding, I can't say for certain of their outcome. After all that, and I still couldn't save them. Why didn't I listen to Hemlock? Hey, Phoenix. Don't sweat it too much. You did everything you could. But Renwick, I, I failed you. On the contrary, you saved me. Five years as his manservant, all because he wanted that enigmium so damn much. If I had sense, I'd have told him. Then I've put Brisbane's life in jeopardy. I never realized until then, but I seem to have a pretty big conscience. You understand why I couldn't let that happen, right? Yeah, I do. Renwick. I wish you'd have told me sooner, pal. I'd have gladly handed this thing over if it meant your freedom. It never worked as a real eyeball anyway. Then why did you fashion it into an eyeball? I just wore it that way in hopes of drawing Hemlock out into the open. Then wouldn't you know it, a certain Detective Snow appears out of nowhere. I should have spotted the signs much sooner. It may be probably the most expensive object in the world right now, but it wasn't worth all this trouble. It wasn't worth getting a stupid, stubborn, innocent man into a life of misery. Hmm, I think he's talking about you, Phoenix. Y yeah, right. Thank you, Runwick, for you, no, sticking up for me the way you have. But if you ever put me in that situation again, I'll kill you myself! <laughs> Message understood. I'm sorry this happened to happen- I s I'm sorry this had to happen to you too, Mr. Brisbane. But one day when you're fully recovered, I trust we'll be seeing you in court again? No. I'm resigning. Let's just say prosecuting wasn't my strong suit. Seeing Hemlock today and how blindly deluded he was, I saw a bit of myself there. I believed fighting crime would slay my demons. In denial of the truth to pursue my own ideals, remind you of anyone? 
If it's any consolation, Brisbane, there have been times where I myself let my anger get the better of me. It's only natural, after all, but being consumed by an emotion is a very dangerous thing. Look at Hemlock. He was consumed by happiness of all things. That wasn't any consolation, but I appreciate the support. Don't get me wrong, I still hate the living guts of all criminal scum. But I'm better off leaving that to the professionals here. With you two around, criminals truly have a reason to fear. As long as there's a badge upon my lapel, I'll continue to fight for truth and justice. Likewise. Except the badge part, of course. Then without further ado, I hereby declare Runwick Smith not guilty! Yay. S sorry, Your Honor. I I'm used to an audience being here for a celebration. Then in that case... Woo! <laughs> no! <laughs> Woo! Y you're still working on that, aren't you? Working on it? I thought I'd finally accomplished a convincing whoop. Okay, this is the weirdest ending to a trial ever. Hey, Phoenix. Yes, Runwick? Whatever happens to me over the next few months at these trials, know that I don't hold a grudge over how this one ended at all. You finally took down Hemlock. That's a straight-up win in my book. Thank you, and best of luck with your upcoming trials. And on that note, the court is now adjourned. Oh, that was so long. And that's that, I guess. But I can't help but feel this is more of a bittersweet victory. Way to go, right? Thanks, Edgeworth. Man, I can't believe we managed to pull that off. Just as I was the one to expose the smuggling ring's original chairman, it felt more than fitting for you to take down the ring's next incarnation. Next, and now hopefully the last. Mm, well, I wouldn't count much on its immediate liquidation. They are leaderless once again, and no doubt somebody new will lobby for his empty seat. I wonder who will get the task of dethroning the next in line. Apollo? It's not like they're now an aimless group. I'm not sure to have a pretty price on his head. If he's smart, he'll stay in prison. Yes, once the whole of Aculus takes note of his treachery, they'll be sharpening the pikes for his head, when the very power you once controlled turns against you. He may have been psychotically misguided, but you gotta hand it to the guy in a way. Hmm? He pursued his dreams of happiness, fully believing he was doing it for good. Whatever he set his mind to, he found a way to accomplish. I don't know, there's just something to be impressed about there. But there's a thin line between doing whatever you want, and doing whatever you want. Dreams without ambition, without direction, can be dangerous things in the wrong hands. The road to hell is often paved with good intentions, as the saying goes. Lesson learned. It may be over for us. Renwick, though. At least he's been cleared of murder, Brisbane. But he didn't have a choice in everything else Hemlock made him do. Everything he did, no matter how corrupting it was, he did it to save your life. I'm sure once the judges learn of that, I noticed the gradual but stark change in him years before he finally confided in me. I meant what I said in there, if I knew how much trouble this thing was going to cause. Jack Crane's lucky charm may have been the worst thing that's ever happened to me. Yep, that's our good old root of all evil there right there. Volper was telling me that even his stepbrother was no angel either. After owning this thing, wouldn't be surprised. It's like the... <laughs> it's like the ring from Lord of the Rings. It corrupts everyone who touches it. Speaking of Volper, you should know he helped us in taking down Hemlock. He was days away from his execution, and now, thanks to Riot, his death sentence will be revoked. Only because I knew somebody else was responsible. I wasn't defending him or anything. His original life sentence will continue. He helped, did he? I guess I can let him run peace for that. As long as I never have to see a smug face ever again. More reason to quit, actually. Got some issues to sort out up here. I don't want to become another Hemlock, thank you very much. I think we could all do with that mercy after today. Come on, Brisbane. Things will be alright with Renwick. I wasn't there to help! All the time- all this time- all- What? All this time I knew everything and I was lying in ho I was lying in hospital like a damn vegetable! I shouldn't have let the bastard get the jump on me. But you barged into the court in nick of time. If it wasn't for you, Hemlock would have been halfway across the country by now. Is there nothing I can show him to cheer him up? To make him recognize his own efforts? <laughs> oh, man. Do you want a star? Brisbane, you've done more for us than you know. 
So in hopes that you can see what we see. Here, have a gold star. <laughs> Brag, you crazy old bat. Bet there's a whole torrent of stickers with my name on them when I get home. Oh my god, Brisbane, you laughed. Did it hurt? Ha, <laughs> not as much as I thought it would. Well, I guess this is step one to a healthier calm of me. <laughs> I agree with you there. Now Brisbane's retiring. I wonder what wacky character I'll be going up against next. Sounds like a real party's going down in here. Trent, we couldn't have done this without your help, too. I mean, breaking cover and letting us know about the boogeyman. Now, what you thinking me for? I'm the one who owes you guys big time for finally nailing that sob. The ghost killer has been eluding me for the longest darn time. Now, Sarah's been avenged. I finally did it, baby. You could rest easy now. So what will you do now? Too soon to be thinking about that stuff right now. I'm still reeling from the prospect that the boogeyman won't be around no more. But you know, I might consider rejoining Interpol soon. It was my choice to leave in the first place after all. Oh yeah, because nobody believed your claims about the boogeyman? Well, that's what I said. Guy's wife gets murdered so you assume he'd go off the deep end and quit his job, right? It was to make the boogeyman believe I'd thrown in the towel. Ah, so he'd think he'd finally thrown you off his back? How dumb did that bozo think I was? Did I give up on the free coup? Oh, sorry for rambling. I should be going. Right, of course. Thanks again, Mr. Wright. You didn't just help Sarah, you helped me. Now I can stop chasing phantoms and finally get on with my life. See you guys around. You know, Edgeworth, there's still the mystery of why Hemlock wanted you and me specifically for this case. I can't figure it out myself, but I suppose it matters little at this point. Yeah, maybe you're right. Maybe I was over overthinking it a tad. I'd be up for a celebration of some kind. But, uh, doctor's orders. I'd rather just go home and rest up if it's all the same. Yeah, you only just woke up from a coma a few hours ago, after all. Yeah, I guess I'd better call it a day, too. Some other time, perhaps. Hey, Brisbane. You know, you'll be quitting as a prosecutor soon. Will you miss a certain kind of shouting? Shouting? Hell no! I'm gonna be working on Inner Peace and all that crap. Oh, believe me, I won't be missing that shouting. No, 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 I'm talking about... Oh no, not this again. I mean, will I miss shouting object? This will be the last time we get to hear it. So what do you say? Once more, for old time's sake? Just go with it, Brisbane. I'll join in if it'll help. Oh, fine. For old time's sake, then. Mr. Wright. <gasps> yeah! Three, two, one. Oh, hell yeah! Okay. I'll do a game review. Uh, I'll, I'll make a game review of this soon. I promise. Carnivore, solid gent, you fucking mad lad. That was amazing. Listen, I was kind of rude to the first two cases of this game, but oh wait, it's been a week and I still look like a blasted corpse. Still ache, ache, aches to do anything. But it's, uh, oh, everything sucks. How was that? I think this anger management tape's working. I kept a straight face. Ah, who am I kidding? This enigmium business is still getting me down. I'm still at war with myself. What do I do with it? Sh should I... Should you what? <laughs> Moral support being a good friend. Rothpa, I'm, I'm gonna play your game next, actually. With a huge pack of anime backgrounds to use in it. Tap. Has it been a week already? Ah, my next trial's in two days. I've been losing track of time a lot lately. Guess you could say I'm just enjoying my freedom while I've still got the chance. You have no idea how it feels to do whatever you want without someone directing your actions. Oh, you do, huh? Guess I'm still pretty new at being myself. I've got a lot of finding myself to do, but that depends on how these trials go. I've got a good feeling, but I won't be getting my hopes up just in case. I wish I could have chosen my words more carefully when I had the chance to thank Phoenix. I just hope he has some idea of how this feels for me. <sighs> As I was saying, I'll make a review of this game soon. Oh, Rafa did uh, Vincent's signatures. No way! Well, geez, you've been there a while, ain't you? Well, it's only been a week. I ain't got a lot done yet. 
This been Division Sarah. Give it the good news. Now I can let go of all the years spent swinging my fish and hitting there. Looking to get back into the detective game, I assume. Once Interpol got, get wind of the boogeyman business, I could be back before I know it. Guess I gotta brush up on the lingo again, huh, boss? Detective James Trent will be back before you can say bad coffee and all that jazz. Damn shame, though. I know I ragged on the first two cases as I was saying, but the third case was pretty good with some wonky contradictions, and this case stands up to the final, um, final cases of official games. This was really good. Like, fantastic. Phenomenal, even. I can't praise it high enough. Yeah, Volper! He, he did it. He actually did it. Ding dong, the boogeyman is dead! It looks like I lost my ticket for a free go on the massage chair, too. Now I can get back to wallowing in self-pity and sins in peace. Kinda a shame. I wanted to know what dying was like. Oh well, another mystery for another day. And until that fateful day, when I get to see what all the fuss is about. I'll have my old, old buddy Crump to keep me company. So as, as, as another less popular dynamic duo, it's goodbye from me. And it's goodbye from me! Oh, the Sims? <laughs> the Sims, what the hell? Oh. I suppose I should be grateful to Mr. Wright. My life and career may very well be in tatters, but I'm glad to be rid of these ill these Ill conditions now. I'm no longer sat here freezing my whiskers off. In fact, I won't be sat here for very much longer anyway. You know, I wasn't lying when I said that golf was my passion. Who knows? There may be a whole new career path right in front of me. Celebrate my newfound freedom and all. What? Oh, oh. Nah, man, I think you're going to prison. For uh, covering up Philosopher's Stone, what the hell? I think you're going to prison for uh, obstructing justice in covering up that knife. Yeah, I don't think you have freedom. Oh, I heard about Mr. Wright. Oh, um, I meant that whole Aculus business. Very impressive feat, very inspiring to me. Now that I'm done agonizing over you know what, maybe I'm ready to step into court again. Maybe I'm ready to be taken seriously as a lawyer again. And if I could even hold accountable to Mr. Wright, I'll consider myself a success. Ooh. coffee and all that jazz. Like that. Hello there. Welcome to the Mooglethorpe Hotel. I'm the proprietor, Maris Rubin. We have a very rich history dating back more than... Oh, Mr. Wright? Well, we're very grateful for what he did for us. Still not sure if I can forgive the original proprietor. Please try not to overthink this again, Miss Rubin. Yes, Miss Rubin and I are doing a rather tidy job of keeping this place running. It's just us at the moment, isn't that right, Miss Rubin? Absolutely, I don't know what I'd do without you. We do hope Mr. Wright returns soon. He's always welcome here, free of charge. Got that premium service, baby. Just gotta give free room service as well. Good to hear James finally found that boogeyman of his. Your death experience aside, I was happy to play my part in exposing Aculus. You know, it was kind of a hoot pertaining to hunt ghosts, too. Because that weird green rock that lawyer had, that was legit, I tell you. I could become a paranormal investigator, me. Oh, God, no, not a lot of heart. So next time you got something crewing about, who are you going to call? Well, no, not me yet, but it was just an idea. Ah, oh. the art of pretentiousness. Wow, what a what a song title. Crash and burn, cold hard chief. Yeah, a lot of music from Tekken. Oh God. And who's this? Another pupil late for class? Oh, you're here about that right boy. 
He deserves all the gold stars and smileys I can dish out for what he's achieved. Plus, I always appreciate a pupil who informs those in charge of the ne'er-do-wells. And I absolutely abhor those who make, who make perfectly nice boys like Smith out of bottoms. Now, if you excuse me, I have a class to teach. And using that case as an example, I will teach the next generation the right way. Ha. Ah, like that point. As I was saying, a lot of music from Tekken. It's good music, gotta say. The Sims again. Captain Crumple Way. Unfitting songs for when that happens. My, uh... Woo, these trials are tough. Every ice-cold waterfall I think will be the one to finally finish me off. I wonder if Nick's been up to much. Haven't heard from him since that hotel business he mentioned. Nah, I'm sure he's doing just fine. Yeah, you just, you know, dealt with like a life or death situation. It's fine. That was so fun. Oh, that, that was such a, such a good fan game. Such a good game, to be honest. So good. Solid Gent, you fucking genius. I couldn't have done it without everybody credit, and thank you for playing my game. And sharing the love. I love Ace, Ace Attorney, man. Uh, property to be respected. Yeah, I've gotten a few copyright things, but they're not strikes, so I'm fine. Two days later, oh, we got an epilogue. Oh boy, what a ride. These past few days have been a roller coaster for sure. Maya won't believe half of what I have to tell her. Haunted murder hotel? A flammable chief? Whatever hemlock was? Nah, she'd think I'd gone crazy for missing her too much. Or that I'd been spending too much ta time talking to Charlie. In all fairness, I should be used to crazy cases by now. But something about the past month's worth of cases makes my head spin. I'm still a little brain fried today, so it's nice to put my feet up and relax while I can. I really ought to ring Maya. She'll outright laugh at my story, but I wonder how her training's coming along. I'll do it later. <sighs> I knew it was too good to last. Feels good no longer having to worry about who's on the other end. Hello, Phoenix right here. Um, what? Ryan Colon, is it very shame? Speaking, who's this? And please don't say me. Looking for a lawyer to defend me, Mr. Wright. What I'm seeing, you're just a man for the job. That's very kind of you, sir. Where do you know me from? The recent Hemlock case, of course. I can tell there's no small feat to take down a chairman of a criminal organization. You find him guilty of three separate crimes before I've had my lunch. In a room full of explosive foods that you can handle pressure really well. Ah, you will make a fearsome your adversary in court. Great, that's my relaxation at an end. It was nice while it lasted. Job's a job, though, and I'm a little strapped for cash at the moment. And what if I were interested? Where can I meet you? Mr. Wright, I must confess something before I continue. You were not the first lawyer I called. My previous attorney, he failed my selection process. Oh, no! No! Oh, this sets up Apollo Justice. Okay, well. If you fail my selection process. Right? Go on. You will have to meet with him afterwards, should I choose to take you on. He is still in possession of the files for the case. Wait, wait, when did you become the one who decides? And I'll have to retrieve them if I'm to take your case. I get it. Wait up, I don't even know your name. We'll discuss everything tonight at the Bushbo Club. You know it? Sure, my assistant, and I, my assistant and I pass by it regularly. There's a burger joint she likes further along that route. Anyway, yes, I'll come. Thank you, I'll see you later. And Mr. Wright? Yes, what is it? Tonight, I'd like to invite you to a little game. It's how I come to know the measure of a man. And it's a test that's never failed me once. Uh, what sort of game are we talking about here? Tell me, Mr. Wright, how are you at poker? Well, uh, that makes me sad now. Oh, pyrite closed. Okay, well, that's it. Uh, I'll see you guys uh, for conflict of interest. See you guys next time.